Today marks the beginning of another exciting and meaningful environmental journey that will celebrate the Filipino heritage, the beauty of the Filipino women, and of course, the planet that we all call home, our planet Earth. And this year's edition promises us another exciting edition of Miss Philippines Earth as the girls will serve us fabulous looks and also reconnect us with our past and shaping our future. As Miss Philippines Earth enters its 24th year, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to all our sponsors who are also one with us with our mission of protecting the environment. Our major sponsor, Hana Shampoo, flaunt your youthful looking hair made possible by Hana Shampoo with Collagen Plus, the municipality of Tolacan, the province of Pukidnon, the heartland of Mindanao, our host venue, Viking rent of car services, official bus transport, Lime Hotels and Resorts Manila, El Nido, and Barakay, and of course, the Gandang Rikireyes chain of salons. Today's presentation is about making the first yet lasting impression and taking it from experience in order for one person to be an effective earth advocate, she has to be able to connect to other people. And the presentation you are about to see will be just about that. And we'll see how engaging they are through their introductions. And what better way to gauge their online presence than by inviting pageant influencers and pageant critics that are most notable in the pageant industry. First off, in our panel of judges is Mr. Adam Ginato, an independent pageant plugger and an international pageant correspondent. And also, of course, Mr. Norman Pino, one of the country's top pageant bloggers and co-host of a weekly pageant talk show. Mr. Armin Adina, last but not the least, and a pageant chronicler with decades of experience covering local, national, and international competitions. And let's see how the delegates will impress this tough panel today. And before we proceed, we would like to also extend our deepest gratitude to the following sponsors for making the Miss Philippines Earth 2024 possible. Everbelena Cosmetics for every beauty, SunSmart Solar Power Technology, Pacific Blue Transport Services, our official airport transfer, Miss Earth Foundation, and of course, the Kitco Travel and Tours. And now that you've met our guest influencers, it's time to meet the amazing ladies who are out there to make a difference to the pageants. And better start taking notes and let's see if you can guess who among these amazing ladies can become my successor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride that I present to you the delegates of the Miss Philippines Earth 2024. And here they are. In our humble town, a little girl is destined to become a warrior, raised to protect not only her community, but the cultural heritage that envelops within it. Magayang aldaw katimyong mosa. I am Reina Michelle Obani Ruhen, 24 years of age, from the heartland of the Tagbanwas, the gateway to the southern municipalities of the best island in the world, Aborlan, Palawan. I am a public servant in my municipality with a heart for volunteerism and ensuring to practice and deliver good governance among my constituents. Early life experiences and lessons successfully turned me into a woman with immense fortitude through her principles. I was raised by a single mother and my grandmother. At a young age, my siblings and I would help my mom in cultivating and harvesting various crops that would later sell to sustain their daily needs. My mother would constantly remind us that the one must work hard in order to attain the things that we desire. Fortunately, by joining pageants and engaging in hosting and modeling gigs, it gave me opportunities which paved my way to be able to support myself in college and finish my degree. Because of my humble beginnings, it had fueled me to aspire and do greater things in life. Now, this is the perfect time to give the laugh back, returning to pageantry after six years, bolder, fiercer, and stronger. 
Join me as we embark on this remarkable journey of a young dreamer with a mission to ready the natural beauty not only of her community but also her country. And pretty soon, the Earth. Hello, mabuhay! Isang makakalikas ang araw. I am Janeline Banihan Balauro from the Forest Heartland of Cagayan Valley, Municipality of Aglipay, Province of Quirino. I am born from humble beginnings. I emerged from the fertile field of my family's farm, where the earth whispered of secrets, hard work, and dedication. Raised by a farmer and learned early on the value of persistence and the beauty of simplicity. I am born into a world where diversity often breeds misunderstanding. I face the weight of misconceptions simply because of my indigenous roots. But I embrace my heritage with an unyielding spirit, honoring the legacy of my ancestors and the richness of our traditions. From the corridors of my school, my path has been paved with courage and dedication until my journey truly began to unfold. Joined my first ever beauty pageant and fortunately crowned as Mutianang Aglipay 2017. My journey is a reminder that no matter the obstacles we face, we have the power to rise above them, waiting to be unleashed. Again, I am Jonalyn Banihan Balauro, a nurse by profession, but an environmental activist by heart. Hey everyone, my name is Samantha Dana Bugos, your Miss Philippines Earth 2024 from Oriental Mindoro. I am a licensed psychometrician and psychology scholar. I first got into pageantry when I was 16 years old and I consider that one of the most significant turning points of my life because up until that moment, I've always considered myself to be very shy and timid. That's why all of my hobbies are things that you can do at home, like singing, painting, drawing, sketching, reading books, and baking. In pageantry, I found the confidence to be who I wanted to be. In 2016, I joined and won Mutiana Karagatan, where I promoted and advocated for raising awareness for the preservation of our marine spaces. Growing up in the coastal communities of Oriental Mindoro and being raised by individuals who were heavily involved and responsible for the preservation of our marine spaces, I saw the need to bring it to a bigger platform. It's important that we all work together towards the conservation of our marine spaces because in doing so, we provide climate regulation, food production, livelihood, and economic progress. That is why I joined Miss Philippines Earth 2024 in hopes of providing our next generation with the heritage of our future survival on this planet. In a world where compassion often seems in short supply, my heart bleeds at the sight of innocent animals being abused and maltreated. Their silent suffering echoes through my soul, igniting a fire within me to stand up and advocate for change. That's why I've dedicated myself to championing responsible animal welfare and environmental conservation. Every creature deserves to be treated with dignity and respect to live free from harm and fear by promoting responsible pet ownership, supporting shelters and sanctuaries, and advocating for stronger laws to protect animals, we can make a difference. Environmental conservation is equally vital. It's our duty to preserve and protect their habitats to ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Together, we can create a world where compassion reigns and all beings thrive in harmony. Filipinas, this is Ira Patricia Malaluan, 25, from the home of the brave, the green industrial city of Batangas. Batangas City is actually not just a place. It is a home that witnessed my wonderful stories in life. From Ira, who is always scared and silent, to Ira, who became passionate and unstoppable. Growing up wasn't easy. I didn't have the picture-perfect childhood with one home, 
one family and one kitchen. My life was split between two families, two houses, and two kitchens. It was tough, it was challenging, and it hurt. There was a time when my heart was filled with unforgiveness and hatred. But as time passed and wounds began to heal, I started to see things differently. And then something incredible happened. This is the reason why Batangas became more than just a city on a map. This city transformed me, teaching my heart that sometimes healing doesn't begin where the wounds were made. Sometimes it starts where you are. The people I met, friends who became family. The mentors who guided me and the pageantry that became my school. They all played a big part in shaping who I am today. They showed me that life is about exploration and experiencing the beauty in every moment. I've come to believe that I'm here in this lifetime to share my story, a story of hope, of healing, and of forgiveness. That you can still be beautiful in the midst of brokenness. It might not be perfect, it might not be glamorous, but it's mine, and I hope you are okay listening with it. Maayod haaldo sa inyo, Alan. Yan at Chauncey Rich Azucena from the Highland Paradise in the heart of Mindanao and has the largest flower among the flesh species. Baungon Bukidnon! Enthusiast. I love working out. I love doing activities that include adrenaline rush. I find beauty and passion in many things. Charity programs, art, culture, adventure, and staying active. With the love for pageantry and the tertiary education of international studies, there is no doubt where my roots are firmly planted. A journey to align my goals in buying the crown or in my aim of becoming that lawyer. I am Mary Joy C. Dairit representing the home of Minasa Festival, Pustos, Bulacan. I grew up in a farm setting surrounded by trees, rivers, and rice fields. It molded my heart to appreciate the simple pleasures of playing under the farm. Anything under the sun is fun and exciting with my siblings. We even used to have our small gardens and were like competing whose garden is the most beautiful. But I think it's mine. We are always grateful for the luxury of free fruits and vegetables that we can harvest. My parents and grandparents has always taught me the value of family and faith. But there are also challenges because when I was little, I used to be bullied for my big eyes and curly hair. People would always say that I'm ugly. I've also developed depression and anxiety at a young age. The time that I am drowning at the rock bottom of my life, it is thanks to my family and friends who did not stop on believing in me. Those rough road has built me to be more resilient and adaptive. Every challenge is an opportunity for me to improve my talent. I even became active in my community at that time. With love for arts and buildings, I am now an artist and a future architect, ready to build a world with grace and compassion. Lately, I am developing my interest for boxing and tennis and even stepping out of my comfort zone by joining this pageant with a mission to inspire and be a role model. Miss Philippines Earth is the right platform for me to showcase my values and upbringing as a person. So come with me in this journey. Let us celebrate our differences and embrace our imperfections and fell in love in the beauty of the earth. 
Mabuhay, Pilipinas! I'm Marina Salvador, an architecture student, and I came from a family of beauty queens. But to me, these women are not only beauty queens. They are the pioneers, the trailblazers that dare to defy the limitations of our society. And ever since I started my beauty pageant journey and up until my breathtaking triumph from local pageantries, I was guided by the women that came before me, especially my mom. My mom was a force of nature. Despite facing financial hardships, she made me realize that nothing should stop us in making a brighter tomorrow. And now that I stand at the threshold of a new chapter, I want to carry that legacy. Because I do believe that our heritage is more than just a lineage. It is about our commitment to bettering the world. And as the Miss Philippines Earth Cabinet to Unseen 2024, it is my commitment to honor the past, embrace the present, and forge a brighter future for generations to come. Real Sipilanas Cahegas, 25, your Miss Philippines Earth, ang home of quality salt, the Sol, Pangasinan. Welcome to the Sol, Pangasinan, my cherished home, where history intertwines with natural beauty, the Sol of Pangasinan. At only 10 years old, I stepped up as the woman of household, looking after my two younger siblings, facing challenges with courage and dedication beyond my years. Professionally, I'm a technical migrations consultant and a proud breadwinner, weaving dreams into reality with each line of code. I am inspired by my fisherman father. I embrace free diving as a means to connect with the sea in its abundance wonders, instilling in me a deep commitment to its preservation. In my quest to give back, I've taken on the role as a dedicated volunteer, lending my time and efforts to initiative close to my heart. Together, let's dive into action for a brighter, newer future. Mabuhay ug madayaw! Welcome to my dynamic lifestyle. My name is Reka May Avila Bueva, proudly representing Davao City through my passion for fitness, music, and the love of family. In my fitness journey, embraces challenges, pushes boundaries, and strive for progress every day. Through my dedication and passion, I inspired those around me to pursue their fitness goals and live their healthiest lives. Join me and to unlock the potential of your fitness journey. As a violin instructor, and as a part of organization in Igdao Violin Institute, I inspired budding musicians, fostering their talent and nurturing their musical dreams. Through my performances, transports listeners to a world of emotion, weaving stories through the strings of my violin, experiencing the magic of music and let the melodies of the violin inspire your soul. Family bonds are the heart of my journey. Ground on her with love, support, and joy. As I continue to pursue my passion, I invite you to embrace your own journey with passion, dedication, and a heart full of love. I'm Crystal Ancodos, 21, representing the city of majestic waterfalls, Iligan. Growing up, I was like a sponge, soaking up all sorts of experiences. I grew up trying out all sorts of things, made me sports, music, video games, and even art. But to me, there's just so much in this earth to experience, and so much in this earth to explore. Currently a biology major and a DOSE scholar with a passion for life, I found myself carving a path towards being a medical doctor and an advocate for the people and the environment. Like the beautiful waterfalls of Iligan City, I aspire to carry beauty with a purpose. And as your eco-warrior, I carry this responsibility where I use my love for the earth like a weapon. A weapon that shall be wielded for us to defend the earth from its current environmental threats. 
A greener tomorrow starts with our initiative and our concern for our home, our Earth. As a dreamer with a heart for the planet and the people, I am happy to join Miss Philippines Earth in amplifying my message and inspire others to join me in building a more sustainable future. I am Crystal Land Goddess, your Miss Philippines Earth, Iligan City, your eco-warrior. A woman of the earth is a profound beauty who uses her influence and capacity to safeguard the environment and is also committed to amplifying the voices of the stewards of our rich culture and heritage. I am Shaima Robles Aliansuri, proudly representing the beautiful and vibrant city of love, Iloilo City. At the age of 26, my happiness is fueled by a multitude of things. I have been a filmmaker in my community since 2013 and a supporter of non-governmental organizations. My younger years led me to discover a passion for performing, journalism, writing, and filmmaking. In 2018, I graduated cum laude with a degree in broadcasting from my dream university. In 2022, alongside like-minded individuals, I co-founded Kim Balikid Incorporated, a civil society organization in my community that aims to uplift the living conditions of the marginalized sectors in the locality. Now, in my capacity as a filmmaker, and with Ilu Ilu City recently honored as UNESCO's first creative city of gastronomy, I am even more dedicated to my Dunang Mangid advocacy. Leveraging short films as a medium to empower locals, farmers, and the Ilongo community in environmental protection and heritage preservation. I am Shaina, whose roots embrace a blend of Egyptian heritage that whose heart beats in and for Iloilo. Ako si Shaina, nagapasidungog sa mga mamuna. I am Shaina, a woman of purpose and a woman of the earth. Maayong adlaw sa inyo ang tanan. Kate Camille Ferrer Piaquinto, join me as I walk, revisit, and re-explore my home, Municipality of Ipil, Zamboanga, Sibugay. A licensed professional teacher, a deaf ed teacher, and currently taking my master's degree for English language and teaching. I was raised in a simple family with humble beginnings. That is why, when I was in my childhood days, I learned how to sell goods in our school and even to our neighborhoods that will make an additional support to our daily expenses. Pageantry was one of my ways to help lessen the burden of my parents. That is what life has taught me to be strong, determined, and always aiming more. To tell you honestly, my family is a colorful one because my eldest brother is a part of the LGBT community who is a proud gay and our youngest twin sisters are both bisexuals. That is why my heart and my mind is open for inclusivity in the community. I am here telling everyone that whatever roots you belong, upbringing, or heritage, you are valued, you are loved, and you are seen. Hello and welcome. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about me. My name is Sam Samara, your Earth Warrior, 2024 representing Makati City. I am excited to share a little about myself with you today. In my free time, you can often find me cooking, playing the piano, hiking, rock climbing, and even sometimes surfing. I believe in the importance of finding a balance between work and play to nurture both personal growth and well-being. People ask me what's music to me. Music to me is a language that I speak, the way Mother Earth speaks to us. Here is your Earth Warrior, Samar Jamal, 2024, 
representing Makati City. Kian Marie Eirosales representing Municipality of Manay, Province of Davao Oriental. 24, currently studying at University of Mindanao Tagum College, and I'm taking the course of Bachelor of Science and Tourism Management. I'm a pageant enthusiast and a model, a former Taekwondo athlete. I am an only child. My father is a mechanic technician and my mother is a housewife farmer. I can sing. I love animals. And going to beach. And lastly, I love to travel. Growing up, I have seen the hardships and struggles of life. I grow to be independent. In this, I can discover and let to know myself, and being independent is an asset. An advocate of Turismo Atong Handumanan, or should I say, Tourism is our token, wherein through strong regulations and proper ordinance, we can be able to preserve and protect our tourist spot gems. In this, we can be able to protect to promote a life where sustainability is practiced, join me, and help me promote a life full of protection and preservation, and make a beautiful impact on Earth. This is Kian Maria Rosales, representing Municipality of Manay, Province of Davao Oriental. Maayat haal daw na inyo alan. I am Mary Joanne Capuyan Fuentes, 22, from the heart of Northern Mindanao, Province of Bukidnon, and from the heart of the province of Bukidnon, Maanyag Maramag! Growing up separated from my parents, I have also been separated from my only sister. I was raised by my grandmother from my mother's side and farming has been our source of living. I am a campus journalist, the associate editor of CMU Hongyu's publication and a literary artist. I bagged literary arts awards and the most recent one was when I represented my university in an essay writing competition for all state universities and colleges within Mindanao. I am representing the province of Bukidnon and the municipality of Maramag, known to be the eco-tourism capital of the province and the tourism highway of northern Mindanao. In the heart of Maramag lies the famous active volcano named Mount Kalayo. We have the most romantic school, Central Mindanao University, a center of excellence for agriculture. We also have the famous RR Family Spring Resort, who have been practicing sustainability in tourism. We even have the cleanest wet market in the Philippines, where you can lie down the floor because our wet market is not wet. Hi, I am Gwen Marie Perion. 23 years old, from the wonderful municipality of Opol, Misamis Oriental. I am a financial management graduate and a licensed financial advisor. I grew up in a broken family, but it doesn't stop me to stand and be the breadwinner for my family. I am a lawless girl, finding solace and guidance from my grandmother's wisdom and love. Given the status quo that I am in, academic excellence has been a cornerstone of my journey. I remember I joined my first pageant when I was 13 years old, having the advocacy to save our planet. How admirable is that younger self with youthful enthusiasm and a burgeoning sense of responsibility for Mother Earth. And now, I am thrilled to have found a platform that aligns perfectly with my passion for environmental advocacy, the Miss Philippines Earth. Bringing with me the purpose of advocating for sustainable communities as an indispensable asset in promoting sustainable tourism. Imagine a world where education empowers everyone. 
communities thrive in harmony with nature, and Filipinos embrace a sustainable future. That's the world I dream of. And that's the world I'm determined to help create. My name is Ira Mel Inutan Alfetche from Matanao, Davao del Sur. Matanao, with its beauty and diverse ecosystem, is a treasure I commit to safeguard. My passion for inclusivity led me to pursue a degree in generalist education, majoring in special education. Witnessing the spark of potential ignite in every student, regardless of their background, is a constant source of inspiration for me. But my drive to learn and serve extends beyond the classroom. When I'm not teaching, you can find me on the basketball court, pushing my limits. Proving that passion for the game transcends gender. As an AFP reservist, I'm also committed to upholding the values of service and protecting our nation, standing shoulder to shoulder with my fellow Filipinos. And that's why I am me, a teacher, an athlete, a reservist, and most importantly, an advocate for change. Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen Santiago. My heart beats for the environment. Weaving my passion seamlessly into my adventurous spirit, as an avid explorer, I seek new heights and experiences. Always driven by thirst for knowledge and discoveries, my love for art blooms, showcasing my creativity and appreciation for beauty in every form. In 2019, I won the Mural Arts Painting Competition at Pasig Catholic College and secured second runner-up in the Poster Making Competition. In 2023, I became champion of the Poster Making Contest at Enya Laguna Psychology Department. Beyond art, I thrive outdoors, hiking, swimming, and exploring new places. Nature is my sanctuary, offering solace and rejuvenation. Join me on my path to become the Miss Philippines Earth 2024, wherein my journey embraces passion, excel in endeavors, cherishes art and nature's beauty. Again, I'm Kathleen Santiago, your Miss Philippines Earth 2024, representing Pasig City. Umaaga sa ang pag-asa! Ang manamit kag matamis nga pinya, gadalas ang kasanag sa mga pasinhon. Kag ang matuod nga pasinhon, may pagpalangga sa iya komunidad. Nagapreservar sa iya ginhalinan, kag nagadalas ang kasanag kag paglaom para sa kalibutan. Ako si Angela Kabugwas, isa ka matuod nga pasinhon. Nestled in the heart of Panay Island, Pasi City holds the essence of my roots. Bearing witness to my journey from a humble upbringing to the woman I stand today. It is my pleasure to share it with Earth. I once was a shy kid who preferred the shadows. My journey took a vibrant turn in high school. Encouraged by my family, I stepped into the rhythm of the drum and lyre team and the adventurous world of the Girl Scouts. These experiences weren't just extracurricular. They were transformative ushering me into a realm of improved social connections and personal growth. But it was the whisper of nature during my scouting adventures that truly captivated me, nurturing an unwavering commitment to environmental preservation. This newfound passion wasn't just about the green of the earth, it was about the blue too. The majestic waterfalls of Pasi City, which mirror my own thirst for adventure and discovery. These cascading wonders combined with my scouting experiences have profoundly shaped my advocacy. They remind us the nature's delicate beauty and its raw, adventurous spirit, 
qualities that have become a core part of who I am. As I embark on this journey with Miss Earth, I stand not just for myself, but for the thriving weavers, the whispering trees, and the breathtaking waterfalls, and the abundant old springs of Pasi City. Maayong adlaw! Ako si Feliz Clarence Salomon Resantes. I am a faith-fuel business student, an aspiring journalist, and a leader not just in school, but also in the locality, representing the municipality of Sindangan, province of Zamboanga del Norte. Despite being bullied and hurt, I've pushed through difficulties with the help of an amazing support system. A group of people who see and believe in me. These experiences have helped the odd girl out to stand out. In the province, I am known as Lane, a nickname that has stuck since my involvement in pageants. Joining these pageants and venturing into modeling has been a means of supporting myself. And the experiences gained have continuously fueled my drive. Now, as I start my journey as your Miss Earth, my aspirations extend beyond just learning. I am determined to sparkle as the link I am destined to be for the Earth. and I'm from the municipality of Titay, the province of Zamboanga, Sibukay. I come from a place filled with natural wonders and vibrant culture. Growing up here has shaped who I am today. here has been filled with triumphs and challenges, but my family has been there throughout to support me. Because of this, it made me deeply passionate about environmental conservation. It's not just an advocacy for me, but it's a way of life. I am excited to share the beauty of my home because it's not just a place, it's a treasure trove of beauty and rich heritage. joining me in this journey. I can't wait to showcase a lot more about what Kitai Zambonga Sibugay has to offer. Remember to cherish our planet and its wonders. Bienvenido la ciudad de Zambonga. I am Ansha Lichelle Jones and this is me. As an undergraduate pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, I am constantly inspired by the possibilities that lie ahead. But beyond academics, I am deeply passionate about two things, the environment and animal welfare. Whether it's advocating for sustainable practices or lending a helping hand to our fairy friends, I believe it's essential to protect and preserve the world we live in. When I'm not hitting the books or advocating for causes close to my heart, you'll often find me breaking a sweat at the gym. Staying active not only keeps me physically fit, but also helps clear my mind and recharge my spirit. Now, let's talk about food. Oh, I am an absolute foodie. Living in Zamboanga City means being surrounded by a rich tapestry of flavors and culinary traditions. In Zamboanga, every dish tells a story and every meal is an opportunity to savor life's flavor. So whether I'm immersing myself in nature, breaking a sweat at the gym, or whipping up something delicious in the kitchen, I'm always embracing life's adventure here in Zamboanga City. Because in Zamboanga, every moment is an opportunity to discover, to connect, and to savor the beauty that surrounds us. 
I am Anshul Lishal Jones and I am a proud Zambongenya. And there you have it, Ardent Earthlings and Friends, the delegates of the Miss Philippines Earth 2024 season. You'll be seeing more from them in the coming days, so make sure to check out the Miss Philippines Earth social media pages, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, X, and YouTube. And I'm also super excited to announce that the big day, our grand coronation for Miss Philippines Earth 2024, will be held in the municipality of Talatag, province of Makinan, also known to be the heartland of Mindanao. And I'm so excited to be back there as I relinquish the crown. And that's going to be on May 11th, 2024. So don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to our social media platforms, especially on Facebook and YouTube to be updated to our latest ganaps and also the grand coronation will be streamed live on A to Z on May 12, 2024. And before we close, we would like to extend again our deepest gratitude to our sponsors for making the Miss Philippines Earth 2024 possible. Our major sponsor, Hana Shampoo, flaunt your youthful looking hair made possible by Hana Shampoo with Collagen Plus and also, of course, a special thank you to the Office of Congressman Jose Manuel Alba or the 1st District of the Kidnon and also the Municipalities of Talakag, Malitbong, Manolo Fortich, Baumon, Libona, and Sumilao. And of course, to the Office of Senator Lauren Lagarda and Office of Antique, Lone District Representative A.A. Lagarda, catch our stunning delegate as they visit the province of Antique where the mountains meet the sea and that's gonna be on April 20th to April 21st. And also, watch our delegates compete in the beachwear competition from April 22nd to April 26th in the city of Golden Sunrise, Borongan. Catch the elegance of the Miss Philippines Earth 2024 delegates as they compete for the best in long gown on April 27th to April 29th in Toledo City, Cebu. Witness our delegates as they make waves at the much-awaited swimsuit competition in Malitbong Bukidnon on May 2nd to May 4th. And I guess I'll see you there. This one I'm also most excited about. The talent competition happening on April 5th to April 7th in the city of Majestic Waterfalls, Iligan. And on behalf of the Carousel Productions and Miss Philippines Earth Organization, this is again your Miss Earth Air 2023, Iliana Mary Edwana. Thank you for joining us today and isang makakalikasang araw po. Hope to see you again next time. Mwah!